Hello, and welcome to the 27th Annual Concord Business Challenge, our virtual event. While this was definitely not our usual event, we attempted to provide your students with a small collegiate experience and interaction with us here at Concord. We really missed having you on campus this year, but we still had good participation considering our current situation we are living, living and working in in this pandemic. For our event this year, we are happy to say we had seven schools that participated. Out of those schools, we had two sophomores, 64 juniors, and 39 seniors for a total of 105 students. 10 of your teachers worked hard with you to make this event possible, and we also want to recognize that three of those teachers are also alums from Concord, and we appreciate all of your help. We especially want to thank all the teachers because you did work with us and encourage your students to participate in this online challenge exams. Without your support and encouragement, our event would not have happened. Let me just take a couple of minutes to also send out some special thanks to some, some very important people here on campus that without their support, it would also not have happened. To our IT staff, and especially Rick Browning and Sid Hatfield, who set up and made it possible for your students to participate online. William Bailey and Alvin White and our, all of our audiovisual uh, staff for live streaming this event. And just a reminder that it will also be available on our YouTube channel as well as the department's Facebook for viewing in the future. I also want to uh, recognize our admissions department. Without their help, we could not hold this. They graciously agreed to have t-shirts this year since you could not come to campus and take part and buy at the bookstore, we're gonna offer you one for attending. And of course, the scholarships and all of their support for the uh, Concord Business Challenge. And finally, I do want to recognize the staff in our Department of Business who without them and their uh, hard work would not have happened. And I'm gonna ask our academic program associate, Stephanie Rochetti, Unfortunately, she's back in the corner, but if she'll wave. Um, she, for those of you that have attended this event before, we had a, a Lucinda Gonderman was our associate, and we have a new one this year. And hopefully next year, we'll all be back on campus and you'll get to see more, more of Stephanie. And also our student worker, Gabby Klein, was very instrumental in helping us with that. Okay. Uh, before we get to the uh, the awards, I do want to introduce one, a new member of the Concord family, and I have with us Dr. Edward Huffstetler. And Dr. Huffstetler is our, pro, our new provost and VP for academic affairs. And as I told him when he came over, I said, it's just not the same without th those of you all sitting here in the auditorium. We usually have 300 plus students, and again, we do miss you. So hopefully we'll be back to normal come October, and Dr. Huffstetler will get to intermingle and meet with each of you at our 28th annual Concord Business Challenge. Okay. But before we get to the awards, I do have a special guest that would like to, to speak with you. Uh, Dr. Kendra Bogus, president of Concord University, would like to offer you a welcome and encouragement about Concord. Dr. Bogus. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I think I can take this off while there's no one around me. This has indeed been a very strange year, but we're glad that you're willing to take some time today to tune in and participate in a different way in our Concord Business Challenge. It's an incredibly, incredibly important event for us because we get a chance to see you, see how you're doing in your classes, um, meet you normally uh, in person, and also interact with our former graduates, many of whom are now teachers in the public schools. Um, we love to have the opportunity to show you campus so you can, you can see where, where our buildings are, what offerings we have in our coursework. We have about 80 different programs here on campus. And 
we believe that Concord is one of the options you're, you're looking at for your future. Um, <clears throat> Concord is a small liberal arts institution here in southern West Virginia, but we have a lot of professional programs to meet the needs of students in the area. So we hope that you'll think about us as you, as you work towards your, your way toward a college experience. Um, we have wonderful folks here, many of whom are right here on this stage with me. Um, they teach business classes. Um, that's built on a strong foundation in the liberal arts, and um, we, we've been here for, next year will be 150 years. Our students flourish, they do well once they become alumni, and our professors continue to receive awards in their own fields of study. We're graduating students, though, that are talented, and have the kinds of skills they need to be successful in the real world. So I, I just thank you for being here, and I wanna congratulate you for the hard work you've done already. Earning these um, achievement awards is not a small thing, and I know that all of you have worked hard. Thank you so much for being part of our event, and we look forward to seeing you in person next year on the Campus Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bogus. All right, on to the awards. All right, some of you have participated before, so you know how this goes, but each contest is awarded a first, second, and third place award. We do have uh, your certificates already completed, and we will be sending all of this to the schools after it is over with your t-shirts, your some swag that we've got for you, along with the certificates. So we're excited to get these out to you and to announce the winners of the 27th Annual Concord uh, Business Challenge. We'll start with the pre-submitted events, and I'm going to announce the winner of the CBC logo and slogan event. Uh, just a reminder that the first place winner of this event, we use your design in all of our marketing materials for the Concord Business Challenge for next year's event. So you have a legacy in winning that. So let me start with our first pre-submitted. Uh, the third place winner for the CBC Logan, a logo and, and slogan contest is Holly Sorrent of Fayette Institute of Technology. Second place winner, Ethan McClarity, Independence High School. And first place winner, and again, we'll be using your design in our 28th annual materials. First place goes to Rory Howerton, Independence High School. This next uh, pre-submitted contest is the business plan contest. For each of our contests from here on out, our faculty will be presenting them in their area. So I'm going to introduce Dr. Angela Adair. And Dr. Adair is a professor of management and also our director of entrepreneurial studies. And she'll be announcing the business plan winners. Putting together a business plan is no small feat. And the fact that you all did that um, to participate in this contest talks to your dedication. Um, these were judged by committee and they were all three very excellent. Um, all that were submitted was just outstanding. Um, so it was very close. Third place was Mary Powell from Princeton. Second place was Kate Smith from Princeton, and first placed was Simbat Yadav from Princeton. Congratulations. Now on to our challenge exams that all of you all participated in an online format. Uh, for business math, our professor of accounting, Shelley Stump, will present these awards. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
right. Um, so for business math, in third place, we have Jordan Themester, Monroe County Technical Center. In second place, we have Colin Bailey from Princeton. And first place goes to Ethan McClarity at Independence. Congratulations. Our next event is current business event. Dr. Charlotte Davis, Pro Professor of Management, will present these awards. Thank you, Dr. Robinette. I just want to preface this by saying that in my business classes, my students know I ask them what's going on in the world today. And I expect them to pay attention to at least some current events that are happening in the world today. So to me, this is very relevant that even in high school, you probably do. But if you don't, you should start paying attention to what's going on in the world. Uh, for this, this award, the, the third place award goes to Logan Metz of Princeton High School. Second place goes to Braden Seitz of Pendleton High School. And first place goes to Elijah Butler of Pendleton High School. Congratulations. The next award is Management Principles. Dr. Angie Edwards, Professor of Management and Sport Management will present this award. Hello, I'm glad you all took the time to participate in our event, and I am honored to be able to recognize our winners. Third place, Cheyenne Morgan from Independence High School. Second place, Ethan McClarity, Independence High School. And Maddie Stone Street from Fayetteville High School. Congratulations. For the next two contests, Microsoft Office Concepts and Business Communication, Dr. Amanda Salchuk, Professor of Management, will present these two awards. Good morning. I'm starting with the Microsoft Office Concepts. Third place, Haley McF McPherson, Princeton High School. Second place, Victoria Gentry, Princeton as well. In first place, Sam Vat Yadav, Princeton. Next is business communications. Third place, Sydney Hollins, Princeton. Second place, Elijah Butler, Pendleton. First place, William Heiner, Monroe Technical Center. Thank you, congratulations. Our accounting challenge exam will be presented by Dr. Logan Browning, Professor of Accounting. Good morning. I feel like I should be using my best uh, game show voice up here to present the awards with this. But uh, I think it's a great opportunity you guys have for these scholarships and an even better opportunity to use them and come sit in a class with me and that's when all these people are thinking, that's the best April Fool's Day joke ever. <laughs> all right, so we have third place in accounting, uh, Tasia Robinson of Princeton. Second place, we have Abigail Jen Jenkins of Princeton. And first place, Erica Hartwell of Princeton. Congratulations and good work. We have... Um, Two more challenge award, awards, hospitality management and marketing principles will be uh, awarded by Dr. Susan Williams, who is a professor of marketing.
Good morning, and I, I was going to thank you for having me here, but I don't think you had much of a choice. Uh, so thank you for listening in these brief moments. Uh, congratulations to each of you for taking this step and preparing for your future. The winners in the marketing principal exam are Zach Mincy from Monroe County Technical Center, Andrea Graham from Princeton High School, and Sam Vatyadov from Princeton High School. And I understand I'm supposed to say Sammy V. The winners of the hospitality management test are Mary Powell from Princeton High School, Tim Reif from Independence High School, and William Heiner from Monroe County Technical Center. Congratulations to each of you. Okay. We have two uh, contests left. Business Finance, the winners will be presented by Dr. Kenroy Wetterburn, our Professor of Finance. Good morning and thank you for having participated in the Business Challenge. The winners for the Business Finance are in third place. We have Annabelle Engel, Engel Weiler from Princeton. And then in second place, we have Braden Seitz from Pendleton High School. And in first place, we have Blake Helfenstein from Princeton High School. Congratulations. Okay, and our final challenge exam is in economics and Dr. Sephora Javadi, and she's also one of our new faculty members this year. Dr. Javadi will be announcing those winners. Uh, good morning, first of all, I'm looking forward to seeing you all at Concord next semester. Uh, for economics, uh, the third place uh, is Braden Sides from Pendleton High School. Uh, for the second rank, we have Jacob Turner from Pendleton High School. And for the first rank, we have John Wimmer from Pendleton High School. Congratulations. And congratulations to all the winners. I know I can say on behalf of our faculty, we're very proud of you all, uh, proud that you took the time to participate and join us in this. Uh, finally, of course, you all are always excited about who won the scholarships and, and the overall winners. But before we go to scholarships, I do want to introduce Mr. Bill Allen. He is our Vice President for Admissions and Enrollment Management, and I'd like for him to come and say a few words. Thank you all, and welcome uh, to Concord, even virtually. Um, I am so glad that you participated in this event, and I do miss the interaction, but I want to actually take a moment to invite you to campus um, we are open for tours, and we do everything in our possibility to keep you safe during those tours. We'll be open all summer, and so while some of you couldn't get a chance to be here today, um, we would look forward to having you and invite you to campus uh, during the summer. Um, we do a um, restrictive number of people who are on a visit. Um, we limit you to two, no more than two students and two family members. We'll social distance and we'll wear masks, so you will be safe. I think it's also important to note that most of our faculty and staff have uh, now received the vaccine, so um, we're very encouraged by that and we're hopeful for the future. Um, admissions, I know a lot of you are juniors. Admissions will open the application for fall 2022 in June, and so if you want to get a head start on that, we encourage you to do that. Always, if you have questions, feel free to give us a call in the admissions office. Uh, once you apply, we'll need some official transcripts. And uh, the word is still out, but I would encourage you to take standardized tests. Um, they may or may not be uh, needed for admission, but we do use them for scholarship purposes. So please take the time to take those standardized tests and take them seriously. Um, 
We're also here to help. I know there's quite a few seniors in the audience as well. Um, a lot of people still have to do their financial aid applications, and so we are offering fast for Fridays throughout uh, a couple of the weeks here in April yet. If you need help filling out your FAFSAs, feel free to give us a call. We'll set up an appointment for you to sit down with a financial aid person. Uh, you don't need to pay for anything like that. If you are uh, talking to people who want to charge you to fill out your FAFSA, just give us a holler. We'll sit down with you and fill it out um, and, and get you going on that. Um, we um, have a lot of new programs coming to Concord in the coming weeks and months, so I would encourage you to connect with us on social media, watch our Facebook page, and get involved. And again, I uh, want to take this opportunity really to thank you all for participating and to invite you personally one-on-one -on -one to come visit campus you know, in the spring and summer. Uh, and of course, finally, if you're a senior and you're in the application process and you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day. Okay, we'll announce the scholarship winners. Each of you participated in the scholarship exam and the top 12 uh, highest scores will receive the scholarships. Again, thank you to admissions for making that possible. And just a reminder, uh, in order to receive the scholarship, of course, you have to be admitted to Concord and meet all of the admission standards. I'll start with the 10 $1,000 scholarship awards. These are a one-year scholarship. Um, to be presented your first year, 500 the first semester, 500 the second. The $10,000 scholarship winners are Jordan Feimster from Monroe County Technical Center, Sam Vat Yadva from Princeton High School, and Princeton, you guys swept the rest of them, so the, all these other students are from Princeton. Eli Bauer, Blake Helfenstein, Landon McCarty, Isis Prince, Erica Hartwell, Emma Workman, Braden Seitz, and Annabelle Eganweiler. Congratulations on earning those scholarships. The two $4,000 scholarship winners, and these are a four-year scholarship, $1,000 per year. Those winners are John Weimer from Pendleton High School and Aaron Brooks from Princeton High School. Again, congratulations to the winners, to the scholarship winners. And we are down to the last category. And you can see on stage, we do have our trophies and we have our overall winners. So for the 27th annual Concord Business Challenge virtual event, our third place overall winner goes to Independence High School our second place overall winner is Pendleton High School. And the first place overall winner of the 27th Annual Concord Business Challenge is Princeton High School. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. Again, we appreciate your taking the time to participate with us. We are planning to have the 28th Annual Concord Business Challenge on campus with all of you all filling the auditorium in October 2021. We look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.